Hello everyone and welcome to a tactics video for Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host, Colors Fade. In this video, we will cover some of the tips I have for defeating anti-ethyl in honor mode. The first tip that I want to make clear is that you don't have to do this encounter at all and you don't have to do this encounter until you're ready to do it. Get some levels. All of these honor mode bosses go much easier if you can get a few levels under your belt and there's a whole bunch of content that you can do in the game before you even have to consider doing anti-ethyl. In fact, you can be plenty far into Act 2 before doing her. All of the Act 1 and Act 2 locations are available to you until you move to Act 3, so there's plenty of time to leave anti-ethyl for later. Once you're in her lair, a couple of potions will make it really easy for you to get down to the bottom and past all the traps. Cluster your group together and use a potion of Featherfall and a potion of Glorious Vaulting. Throw them in the center of the group, hit everybody with them, and then jump down to the bottom for a pain-free descent. At this point, you can use an invisibility potion and go turn on the console to free Marina. Anti-Ethel doesn't see through invisibility, but if you do, or if you've had Volo poke at your eyes so you get the ability, she will fail a saving throw more than likely and you'll be able to see her. That's when you can set your party up for buffs and go try to sneak attack her and get a surprise. Unfortunately for me and my party, it didn't work and silencing her caused her to create the duplicates. But don't worry, if she starts creating duplicates, this encounter is not over and it doesn't have to be a total party wipe just like it wasn't for me because I'm going to give you the best and most important tip for defeating Anti-Ethel and that is the ability to determine which one is the real Anti-Ethel. On the back of Anti-Ethel's dress, she will have these little claw designs on them. All of the fake anti-ethyls have green claws. The real anti-ethyl has a dark red claw that's kind of hard to differentiate from the green, but if you look closely you can tell it's not green like the rest. That is the real anti-ethyl, and that is the person you want to focus fire on. I don't know exactly what the hit point value is that you need to be below before you will trigger the conversation with her where she will give you her reward, but 20 hit points is safe and I've always had it trigger when I'm just below that, so that is the mark you should aim for. Don't kill her, you want the reward so that you can improve one of your attribute ability scores. And that's all the tips and tricks that I have for Anti-Ethel. The important thing to remember is that just because she starts making duplicates doesn't mean it's total party wipe. Make sure you figure out which one's the real Anti-Ethel and just get your party focused on her. It's actually not that scary of a fight in the end. This was an honor mode and I got her on the first try. Good luck everybody, I'll see you next time and until then, happy gaming!